everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite little holiday look. So make sure you hit that like button in order to share some support, subscribe to my channel to see the rest of my vlogmas, and let's get into the video. So I always start off by curling my lashes. Now I'm just gonna go in with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, just the original basic one. I'm gonna glob it on, kind of, in three different spots. I'm gonna start with one eye and then go to the other. And I use my finger because when I use a brush, I feel like the brush takes off all of the cream. Okay, I'm gonna just go in with my Smashbox palette. Now the brushes that I am going to be using today are all Morphe brushes and I'll tell you the numbers that I use. I just kind of use a more eye see fit. I'm going to go in with the lightest shade first and just kind of put it all over my eyelid. That brush was the Morphe M441 brush. Then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M505 brush as a crease brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, kind of that middle milky color. I know there's quite a few steps to this one. It's simple, I promise, but there's quite a few steps because I'm still learning. Oh goodness. And I have extra skin on my eyelids or whatever it's called, so that's why I get tiger stripes like crazy. And then I just bring it up just ever so slightly. Then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I'm gonna go into the Sienna, which is this kind of rust color. Just a little bit because there's a lot of fallout with this one. So make sure you blow it off a little. We're gonna put it right kind of on the lid in the corner. Drag it up and then blend it all the way up. Next, I go in with two shades of gold. I start off using the M33 brush with my Bare Minerals palette, and I'm just gonna go in with this gold shimmer because it's more of a chestnut color, I guess you could say. I'm gonna go back in with the M441 and just kind of blend it out because you don't want it to be a harsh line and we like our light transition and then i go in with my morphe m167 brush and i go to the anastasia one again and we're gonna go in with this glistening shade just a little bit because it's very glittery and put it on top of the other shimmer just in the middle. Kind of like a halo, but not really. And back to the blending brush. We're gonna just blend it out. Then we're gonna go back in with the Sienna shade from Anastasia and put it underneath our eyelid, blending it as we come. I know the lighting's not the best, but this is the best lighting I have in my apartment, so bear with me. <laughs> then we're gonna go back into the same shimmer glistening on the Anastasia. I'm gonna put that, ooh, that's a lot, on our center. Not a makeup artist here, just doing the best that I can as me. And back in with that little under eye brush, I'm gonna drag it all the way over now. That way it kind of blends out the inner corner of the eye. Got this brush again, which is the M5 and a little bit of Sienna. Then I'm gonna take my M573 and I'm gonna go into that light, light color from the Smashbox palette and just kind of oops, blend out the edge. I do not like it when people do not blend out their makeup, so my boyfriend always gets mad because doing my makeup takes a long time because I could be in here for about 10 minutes doing nothing but this. Blending. 
Then I'm going to curl my lashes again. There we go. Then we're going to put on some eyeliner. And eyeliner can be hit or miss. So if I do a wing, I do a wing. If I don't do a wing, the wing didn't go through very well. So let's see. Oh, and I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner in Now you can leave this look without eyeliner. <laughs> I typically do, but feeling confident, so we're gonna try. Just a nice little wispy. Let me curl a little bit more and then we'll do mascara. And it's okay if some of the eyeliner comes off. And I am going to be using my Lash Sensational Maybelline Mascara. And I will see you when I do this one. So now that the eyes are done, I'm going to do my extremely, extremely simple face makeup. Now I always start off with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I use a super, super teeny tiny amount because I'm only going to be putting on highlighter and a little bit of blush because I don't really wear any makeup besides that. But I don't wear foundation. I only wear the First Aid Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen because it is a little bit tinted. So I try not to put foundation on my face and every time that I get foundation, I never use it. So we are going to start off with the bronzer and I'm going to be using the Hoola by Benefit. I'm going to use any random brush. Just get a hefty mount. Put some. Oh, that is really orange. <laughs> that is not my shade. Let the living daylights out of that. But this is more my speed. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know where to put it really. This one is super low. <laughs> I'm going to blend it up, I guess. See what? Tell me in the comments below what your worst makeup mistake was. Mine would probably be using the wrong shades and not knowing where to put things on my face. Oh goodness, like do you put bronzer down here? <laughs> this is turning into a disaster. We'll try to have everything linked in the description below for you guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of blend that all over my face because it's not the right color. I'm going for that like, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, Trump kind of look, you know? Okay, now that that situation is semi-dissolved, we're gonna go in with the last two things that I have, which is going to be blush and highlighter. So I'm just gonna use this little teeny tiny milk lip thingy. And yet again, I have no idea where I'm supposed to put these things on my face, but um, I'm in a learning process. Now that I look kind of like a doll, we are going to do highlighter. This turned out very interesting. We're gonna do the powder because I'm a little paler. I have no idea what, I think this is just a random one from Ulta, but a tip for powder highlighter is spray your brush. Don't forget which side you sprayed. How much highlight is too much highlight? Then I'm gonna just kind of wipe it off. It's a blend. And we're done. I look presentable. I look pretty good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple, pretty quick, festive makeup look. I know it's one of my favorites, so give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas.